Hey guys, what's going on? Robert French here, aka Red Five French, standing by and staying inside. I uh, thought I would take a few minutes, just kind of come at you guys, play a little something other than some Fortnite. Um, maybe finish up some of this uh, DLC content here talk a little bit about spider-man perhaps and uh, basically just try to get something on my YouTube page right now besides Fortnite videos a lot of Fortnite videos going on right now on my page it's been a lot of fun but you know I'll give some the viewers something new Maybe talk a little bit about Spider-Man. Actually, um, some pretty cool news. I actually recently went to a, a, a Comic-Con, Galaxy-Con, here in Richmond, Virginia. It was really awesome. Had a lot of cool artists there. And I've been a fan of comic books since I was about 10 years old. Did I leave off on something? Oh, I think I left off on a little mission here. Yeah, I sure did. Yeah, I've been collecting comics since I was about 10 years old. Started out mainly with, like, monster comics, but, you know, slowly got... Oh, no. I'm gonna get this. Oh. Slowly got into superhero comics, and Spider-Man was, uh... Like fish in a barrel. Definitely one of the first superheroes, colorful superheroes that I really got into. But uh, at this Comic Con, I got to actually get some comic sign that I've had since I was about 12 years old, and uh, one of them was a Web of Spider Man. I got something. Um, Hammerhead recently bought a room sized by, oh. impenetrable vault to store his most high value items. Like a kidnapped kid? Any indication where the vault is? No details yet, but I've got more books to go through. Keep looking. Alex, uh, Savick, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Um, he did a lot of work with Spider-Man. I've got a lot of his work, and I got him to sign the foil cover 300th issue that I have, which was really cool. I just, you know, get to thank him and shake his hand and uh, actually meet the guy who's, um, work I have a ton of, so... It was fun going through and looking at all my old comics and seeing, okay, what comics do I have from some of the creators who are going to be here this weekend? And there are quite a few. Where's this guy at? Shoot me right here. Watch it! Everyone hit him at once! Oh, no. Yeah, dance? It's about time. You've gotten soft in your old age. <laughs> old age? Hey, like Spider-Man was a lot of fun reading up. Uh, there were always different titles available. Like, Spider-Man had so uh, many comics available monthly from Amazing Spider-Man, which I guess was the original series. Web of Spider-Man, Sensational Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man, nice Peter Parker, Tay, I mean, just, just all kinds of no, it just, never mind. stories. Loved her the uh, comic book series too, or not the comic book, the uh, television series. Hmm. Oh god, I 
Yep. Quiet, man. Really taking your time, aren't you? Yep. Quality over quantity. Oh no 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 no! Free health, health up, health up, health up, health up. Scary. You first, Spider. Um, who else did I meet at the con? But yeah, let's talk about the con. That was a lot of fun. Um, so Alex and Beck, Becky Cloonan, uh, the first female artist to do Batman, got her autograph on the comic that she did, which was really cool. Which is really strange too to think about, like eighty some years of Batman. There's so many strong women in Batman, and it took that long for a woman to do uh, a comic. That's pretty amazing. Did you find the location of the vault? Um, no, oh, we're narrowing it down. Huge fan of Smallville. That's Got to meet Tom Welling and yeah, uh, Michael Rosenbaum. Him, um, there's an overdue conversation. Got to actually ask a question at their their panel. Oh, here's a question. What's what's this, what's this question is? Do you ever miss this? What? Me getting shot at while you steal things? I really tried going straight. Got a job that didn't involve breaking or entering. Even started wearing sweatpants on weekends. I wondered where you went. But that was must have been hard for you, especially with a child. I need to go deeper if I'm going to find him. Let me help. If we're supposed to be working together, some things I do better alone. <laughs> I bet that's. Not um, but yeah, Tom Welling signed my Smallville number one an extra pair of hands. comic book. Got to talk to him for a few seconds, which was amazing. I mean, that's just like, that was one of my favorite shows uh, in the early 2000s there. Cool. Uh -oh. Hey, MJ. Did you get any good info from that? Uh, we also, after the panel of Smallville and um, the Q&A, we actually went lead. back to the their we little booth and, and met in Michael, vault. But we don't know um, where the vault is. my wife and I, Once I crack these and files, uh, maybe we can combine my chocolate with your peanut butter. Do not make a saucy joke out of that. That sounded it's really hard to resist a like that. I almost lost my train of thought. I'll hold the sauce. Uh, but yeah, I went to the, the, the con with my wife. I should probably mention find. that. That's vastly important. Uh, she got us the tickets. And, okay, got some uh, the only reason we had such a great time Let's is because she put together, the together these amazing trips for us from like Disney to just cool little Galaxy Con trips on the weekend is super cool anyway um yeah so we got to meet michael rosenbaum but she was totally just gushing on him got to give him a hug um we now follow his his podcast inside of you uh i definitely recommend checking that out um it's a lot of a lot of fun and um it, it, like it makes me laugh, nuts, it makes me uh, cry, it makes me interested, it's a really good, um, really good series. Never listened to a podcast before this, but we met him, and he was like, please, just listen to my podcast, I'd really appreciate it. And um, so we did, and I've been enjoying it ever since. Listened to, uh, to one yesterday uh, while I was in the shower, and um, was laughing one second and tearing up the next, so... But that was a lot of fun meeting him. Uh, big fan of both those guys, like except from Smallville. Never thought I'd get a chance to meet them. Um, oh, we uh, got to meet a lot of the cast from Disney's Aladdin. Uh, you know, the, the voices of Disney's, uh, the original animated Aladdin, not that remake. That's It's good, but nothing like the original um, animated film. Um, Frank Welker was there. I don't think Frank Welker's done any work with Spider-Man. I think he's done some work with Marvel cartoons, doing like Odin, perhaps. I'm gonna change up my costume. It's a little uh, nasty out for this suit. Let's go a little heavier. Uh, Frank Welker was there. Um, Gilbert Godfrey, of course, does the voice of Iago. The you know, let's go with no. Uh, where's the other black suit? Let's go with. Light monkey. Uh, like I said, Gilbert Godfrey was there. He hasn't done anything oh, yeah, with Marvel, I don't think, either, as far as maybe voice work again. goes. Or Spider Man, I think he's done some DC stuff. Yeah, he was uh, Mixel 
pickle, 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 from Superman. Peter, I finally decrypted that laptop. You know that room size vault you were talking about? I found a record of it being delivered to a shipyard. Of course, Aladdin, of course, of Aladdin, That's gotta um, be where which the everybody is. referred Thanks, to him MJ. as. Better call Felicia. Um, At this hour, it's either a booty oh, I can't call think of his name now from Full House. Something. Hopefully, your son. I'm sending you an address. Meet me there. But anyway, his name is Scott, what, Winger or something like that? What's his name in Full House? DJ's boyfriend. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank right now. Local units, this is Steve, Steve. Steve. Everyone thought he was Steve from Full House. That's what he meant. We're like, no, he's Aladdin. He's <laughs> from over. Disney's Aladdin. Let's see, do I need to do any of these here? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, that was a lot of fun, Jasmine. Must be chased with hammerheads, guys. Probably know him from his work on um, Cartoon Network. More of them? Guys, from Aqua Team, Hunter Force, you need to be and Venture Brothers. Um, and actually got to walk around with him and kind of hang out. Uh, he had a cool panel with a friend of his where they do this neat, like, drunk on Disney kind of like just talk about Disney parks and hanging out there and trying different beverages. And, it's got some really cool stories, and during their panel, they mentioned that you know he was actually looking for beer. And, if the mob uh, henchman career doesn't work out, that was Saturday. Stunt drivers. Um, he walked around for a little while trying to find one. He couldn't. He couldn't find one. And then we actually Sunday it was really really quiet there, and so uh, maybe I should try to maybe give somebody some uh, a high five or something. Yeah, I heard you. Do not listen to the people who say your suit's too tight. Mm -mm. Don't mind me. My suit is. Ow. Pardon me. Oh, sorry. Ooh, oh, that's a fun feet. My, my spider strength. I'm at another one already. Wow. Hammerhead's guys are roughing up that shop. Ah. Too bad they closed down monsters are us. Say goodnight. That's your gun. Get the door for you. How'd you like this? Hammerhead's trying to bring back the good old days. Which weren't good for anyone but him. Can't wait for the hammerhead download content. This has been a lot of fun too. This whole nothing new in this town. Uh, it's like, it's like having this one Spider-Man game is like having like four Spider-Man, five Spider-Man games in one. Not one, not two, not three, but five Spider-Man games. In one. Uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, the next day, Dana Snyder was there at his little booth, and it wasn't very busy, and we caught up with him again, and, you know, we talked with his, his friend, who also does the little podcast and everything, and, um, just the little podcast, it's probably a pretty huge podcast. Uh, but, uh, Dana Snyder was just kind of hanging out, and we, we brought up the fact that, you know, um, 
fast. We saw his panel the day before, and my wife asked him if he ever found his beer, and he said no, I didn't. And then he was like, or I think maybe he said he did, and then he was like, well, what are you guys doing now? I've got an hour before my next panel. Do you want to go grab a beer? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. So I'm walking around Comic-Con with my wife, and... Dana Snyder, the alchemist from one of my favorite, you know, Venture Brothers, one of my favorite animated shows on Cartoon Network's Adult Swim. And uh, we're just like walking around Comic-Con looking for a beer, unsuccessfully, but there was a moment where I'm just like, I'm walking around with Dana Snyder, the alchemist right now, just kind of hanging out. It was, it, was, it was a very surreal moment. Kind of like, oh my god, why am I not recording this, but... Uh, a moment much better lived in the moment rather than viewed through a screen and then watching it again on my, on my screen later on, so it's very cool to be just right there in the moment. Right now I'm just kind of swinging around looking for some, some crimes before I go on to this next little checkpoint. Like we just one of those. received a missing persons report on a VIP witness. Officers needed Atlantic Hill. Over. Gotcha. On my way. Whoa, they've got a civilian in the trunk. Hey guys, is the kidnapping oh, well. victim free if you don't deliver in half an hour? Like fish in a barrel. Did not expect to see the big guy. Very complicated chemical compound that I very seriously doubt you would understand. Thanks, Spider Man. So now I'm definitely gonna testify. Hang in there, buddy. Testify. The cops are on their way. Everybody testify. Thanks, big guy. Who's the best? Okay, Spider Man. Probably testify. better if I'm not here when the cops arrive. Quick interview for my Bring block? In. <laughs> or maybe. Yeah, next time. Yeah, we got it. But yeah, all together at this Comic Con, I think I got like 13 books signed. Oh, met Tom Brummett. Oh, man. Uh, a lot of like um, Robins and Supermans from like the early 90s uh, I have of his. And I got him to sign I think like two, no, four of those, four different issues of those. Um, gosh, who else? Who else? Um. Pan Pantanella, I, I, I can't, I don't know. Uh, Peter Thomasy, he was a lot of fun uh, talking with Peter Thomasy. I met him both days, and uh, the second day, it's been a few more minutes talking with him. I actually have his Nightwing number one that he did. Um, huge fan of Nightwing um, comics, have been since the late 90s. And uh, he took over around issue, I think that was like one. Oh, it's like right next to me, let me look real quick. Sorry, hold on. Let me perch up here for a second. <clears throat> so, uh, let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Yeah. So, uh, Peter uh, Thomasy took over Nightwing uh, issue 140 with Freefall Part One, and I remember that being a very like um, nervous moment for me because I knew there was a new creative team coming in, and it was one of my favorites. One of my favorites since the original, uh, the Thomasy and um, Morales, Morales run. I loved his artwork and his stories were really, really good. And I feel like that uh, that writer, uh, Peter Thomasy, has really crafted who um, some of these characters we have now in the DC universe Looks are like a hit waiting to from happen. like, um, Sharp suits. I'll dress up for jail. like Damien and Superboy, some of these younger characters that have been kind of, especially Damien, I feel like, uh, Everything we know about Damien and who he is right now, uh, we owe to Peter Thomasy. So that was a lot of fun getting to talk with him. His wife remembered me from the day before. Um, and then after he saw my comics, I actually took a moment and like flipped through um, that Nightwing issue that he had done. And it was kind of neat. You can see it was like reminiscing and kind of making it a moment. Beating up mobsters. Classic hero work. Oh, 
gave me a little fist bump, I guess, um, with some of the Corona scare going around even then. A couple weeks ago, he didn't want to do any handshaking. Which I know a lot of artists right now, there's some cons coming up and a lot of writers and stuff. They're just kind of putting plans on hold and a lot of stuff's being canceled. And I'm really glad we got a chance to kind of go in there and meet some of these people before um, some of these uh, some of these these events were, uh, were canceled or put on hold or what have you. Uh, but yeah, thanks to my wife. You know, I got to meet uh, the creator of uh, Spider-Man, Stan Lee. Um, and now, like, you know, some of the writers and artists of not only Spider-Man, but some of the other comic book heroes that I love and adore. So, um, like I said, she's been really awesome in putting together some really, really cool, um, I won't even say trips, I'm just going to say adventures. Uh, oh, boom. All right, so that's completed. That's completed. That's completed. That's completed. 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 Oh, what is that? Locked. Like everything has been completed. I'm gonna swing down here though. I don't like this unlocked thing or locked thing that's going on. Locked. Locked. Let's do a fast travel. I don't know. These are always fun to look at too, the fast travels. But yeah, my wife, like I said, she's been pretty awesome and uh Putting together these adventures, uh, you know, getting to meet Stan Lee, the creator of Spider-Man, and, and the writers and artists that have been behind these guys, and be able to hey, shake their hands. Here right now, right? Well, who said that? Who said that? I heard you. Where are you? You're mean. You're a mean, mean policeman. As a, as a fan of these uh, characters and these um, these stories and everything, you know, you go to the movies and you play these games. You know, you get to be Spider-Man for a bit. You never think you're going to meet the guy who created all these things. You never think you're going to meet the writers and the artists of the, the books and the stories that you love so much. But it is possible. You know. Yes. Yeah, I guess I could say, you know, this, this game to my wife too. She brought this home uh, right after our, our wedding, uh, our honeymoon. It's like the first thing she did. She, she came home. I took the car back to my dad that we borrowed. She went to Target, bought thank you cards, and bought Spider Man. Um, and you know it's amazing to be able to be Spider-Man and do all these things and jump around and pretend to be this hero. Let's see, what's this all about? But it's something else completely to um. Uh-huh. <clears throat> but I guess it's a, it's a whole other thing to be part of this, this, this world and, you know, um, interact with, with the people who, who helped it exist and, and created it. And any, anything is possible, you know. You, you, can, you can be Spider-Man in the game. You can be Peter Parker in real life. You can meet. I'm going the wrong way. I'm <laughs> following the wrong thing. You know, you can meet your, your your favorite writers, your favorite artists. You know, meeting Becky and getting her to sign Batman. That's that's a piece of history right there. That's a moment in time where people will look back and say, "Yeah, Becky." She was the first one to take on on Batman as a female artist, and 
Having her sign that book, that's pretty awesome. Alright, well I'm gonna go check out this, and then I guess I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Sign off. Thanks for listening a little bit. Um, just kind of wanted to talk about, you know, I guess, the Comic Con and some of the fun moments my wife and I had. And go out there and thank her for putting together an awesome, awesome weekend. Uh, Seems like one of those stolen paintings oh yeah. is around here. This is a cool deal. This must be the unlockable thing. And then, uh... Should be you must be in place. here. There. wonder how much this painting is worth. Detective, looks like I found the last stash. Any other leads to track down? No. That's the last piece of Hardy's legacy. Hmm. I really can't thank you enough, Spider-Man. Glad to help, Detective Mackey. And hey, I think you're right about the new cat. Look out for her, okay? It didn't mean a lot to me. Uh, that was weird. What did he mean by that? Should call him back and ask him. The number you have dialed is no longer in service. <gasps> it was That's a even ghost. weirder. Better stop by his precinct. Okay. <clears throat> Side mission. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna end the video here. Maybe I'll pick up. Uh, we'll check out the side mission maybe tomorrow. Sound like a plan? Talk a little bit more about Spider the Man. Uh, anyway, thanks again, guys, for listening a little bit about the con and some stuff we did. Maybe I'll think of some stuff that we did um, that I didn't talk about. Um, I can mention that tomorrow. Uh, uh, yeah. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter at rfa the third. That's rfa the third. RF 3RD and uh, please subscribe, like, comment below and uh, until next time don't forget to uh, I don't know I, I, I can't I, I can't think of a don't forget to wash your hands, I guess, right now. <laughs> it's the best thing to do. It's like all I can think of. Before you pick up and put down your controller, don't forget to wash your hands. Alright, later, guys. Thanks. <laughs>